Hey everyone, so setting up a flow here to scrape results from Google using the guided builder, I'm going to go to google.com and then we're going to record a type step. Let's do dentist in LA because why not? I'll go ahead and confirm what I typed there so we can see that was captured here. Of course, this can use a variable from Google Sheets or Webhook which is gonna allow us to farm more data so that you could do something, like let's say you have data in Google Sheets and Webhooks, you could do something like job in city, right? If you have a Google Sheets column of job in city, then we can do something where this is getting all, you know, plumbers, all electricians, all that type of stuff. So I'll go ahead, I'm not gonna change this for now, but that's what that can expand to down the road. The next thing after this type is recording a click and that's gonna be clicking the Google search. We could also do like a key press of enter, whatever we wanna do there. Um, if you're using the manual mode, you can just type, hit enter, keep going, no stopping there. Um, but again, with the guided mode, it's gonna be a little bit more of this back and forth. So after this click, I'll confirm that, and then I'll go ahead and actually do the click for myself in the browser here. And then the next step is gonna be clicking this more places button. So I'll go ahead and do that here and then I'll go ahead and actually do that in the browser and then let's use the scrape list step and what we want to do is we want to scrape all of these results so one thing that we're gonna run into here is when I collect the first item and the second item we're gonna see that it didn't find the rest of the list and the reason it didn't find the rest of this list is because these two are ads and these are regular listings. So the structure was different enough that we don't know yet that you want this entire list. But that's exactly why we're showing you this purple border so that you know what's being captured so far. So the next step is gonna be clicking two more items if it didn't get everything we wanted in the list. So in this case, it got the first and the second item, but it missed the third, fourth, and so on. So what I'm gonna do is click the third, and then click the fourth and we'll see that now it's found the rest of the items as well as the top two items. This is just helping us find and train what that list is so that we can repeat that process next time we're running this automation. So this is all we're gonna do. Go ahead and click confirm and that is all the automation is. Next up is just setting up your send to Google Sheets, send a webhook or whatever you wanna do with this data after you scrape it.